the online poll, which went live at 4.30 p.m., saw almost 80% of voters say they would block the prime minister's divorce deal. As of 9.30 p.m., 6,639 readers had voted in the poll. Some 5,310 said no when asked, would you vote for Theresa May's Brexit deal, while just 1,089 said yes and 240 people said don't know. Last night MPs voted down Mrs May's Brexit plan for a second time, following January's historic defeat. MPs rejected the improved withdrawal agreement. By 391 to 242, a majority of 149, some 75 Tory rebels moved against Mrs May, while three Labour MPs backed her deal. Speaking after the defeat, the Prime Minister said she profoundly regrets the decision this House has taken tonight, express.co.uk. Readers roundly rejected Theresa May's Brexit deal. Image Reuters, MPs will vote today on whether the UK should leave the EU. Without a deal, if a no-deal Brexit is rejected, a third vote will take place on Thursday on extending Article 50, but the Prime Minister insisted that ruling out no deal and delaying Brexit does not solve the problems we face, she told MPs the EU will want to know what use we mean to make of such an extension and this House will have to answer that question, does it wish to revoke Article 50? Does it want to hold a second? referendum, or does it want to leave with a deal, but not this deal, these are unenviable choices. Thanks to the decision that the House has made this evening, they are choices that must now be faced, Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn said. His party would once more put forward its own proposal for a deal and demanded a general election. He said, the Prime Minister has run down the clock and the clock has been run out on her. MPs will vote tomorrow on whether the UK should leave the EU without a deal, image express, it's time that we have a general election and the people can choose who the government should be, it comes after Mrs May's last minute dash to Strasbourg on Monday night in a bid to win concessions on the controversial backstop which is aimed at preventing a hard Irish border, but Attorney General Geoffrey Cox dealt the Prime Minister a huge blow when he refused to make a U-turn on his legal advice that the UK could be trapped in the backstop arrangement permanently. Mr Cox admitted that while the risk was reduced it could not be ruled out, shifting momentum against Mrs May.